Also available on video cassette, Kelly Roberts Total Body Circuit Training Workout. Right there, fast! This dynamic circuit training program combines strength training with interval stepping. Designed to target all major muscle groups to tone and strengthen the body while burning fat. Continuous training brings fast results. You got it! It's time for Real Fitness with Kelly Roberts. Hi, I'm Kelly Roberts and this step class is just a blast. I've had so much fun working on this to bring you a safe, multi-level step workout for anyone just willing to give it a go. If it's your first time stepping, follow April and use a four inch step. For an intermediate workout, use a six inch platform and work to the point where we turn our step. Follow Michelle and Deb, they'll be demonstrating the intermediate version. For a truly challenging workout, try an eight inch platform and follow Tony, Robin, Michael and me. Whatever level you choose, work at your own pace, drink plenty of water and stop if you feel dizzy or nauseous. The abdominal strengthening and stabilization exercises are hard. Each time you do them, you'll see an improvement, not only in your strength, but also in your posture and your pelvic alignment. These exercises really do help to flatten your stomach. Starting with your feet apart, toes turned out slightly, tailbone drops directly down, chest lifted, big deep breath in. Exhale. Do it again, breathe in, hold there, drop the shoulders down, then take it side to side, then forward and open. Other side. Do that again, first side. Last time. Now hold it here, circle the shoulder two times, then a big circle. That's it. There you go. Again. Turn it out. Good. Now just circle the shoulders. Circle. That's it. Elbow comes up. Now take it to the side. Reach it out. That's it. Keep your chest lifted. Four, three, two. Now reach to the side. Now up. Reach up, feel that separation between the rib and the hip. Now cross the chest, keep your chest lifted, and then drop the hands down, four, three. Now we're gonna go a little faster in counts of one. Up, now down, up, up, down, and down. Up, up, one more set. Up, up, down, now hold it to the side. Three, two, now slow, big reach, Reach out. Now fast again. Four, three, two, and slow. Reach. That's it. Now swing it. Relax the neck and shoulders. Keep your spine erect. Now lift. Right there. Swing it. Easy. That's it. Now lift. There you go. Now let me see a step touch. Right there. Big step. Bicep curls there. Good. Now tap the toe to the bench. Now the heel. Four, three, two. Now take a basic step. Reach up with your arms. Take your time. Place the foot up. Now tap the heel. Four, three, two. Basic. That's it. Now we're going to walk around. At your own pace. Do a great find. That's it. Great, fine again. You got it. Last one. Tap the toe. Right there. Now the heel. Take the face in. That's it. Two more. Keep your knees soft. Tap the heel. Four, three, two. Face it. I'm starting to feel warm. Let's go around. Great fine. Great fine again. Great fine again. There you go. Tap the heel. Basic. Walk around. Great fine. Now tap the heel. Four, three, two. Basic. around. Grapevine. Now lunge and press with your arm. Press, press, press. Four more. 
chest up. Now drop your shoulder and hold. Now a lower back stretch. Yeah. Other side. Press the opposite shoulder up as you do that. And on that lower back stretch, really round up. Pull your navel up against the spine. Now hold that. Pull the elbow away from the hip. Lift up and around. Other side. Hold. That's it. Now reaching up. Lift up. Take your hand to the bench. Step back. Lift the chest. Lift up for two counts and down for two counts. Just check your alignment here. Make sure that your knee is in line with the ankle. Keep your back leg straight and sink the hip down. Lift up, two, and hold that. Now slide the foot in. Sit back into a hamstring stretch, keeping your chest lifted. Now lean forward, step the leg back, and lift up, pressing your heel into the floor. Up and press. So you should feel a nice stretch in your back calf as you press the heel down. Now just tap the front heel. Up. So it goes toe, heel. That's it. Now face the front, toe, heel. That's it. Bend your knees. Now lift the leg and tap the heel. You got it. That's it. Now lunge and press. Just the shoulder. Four more. Four. Press the opposite shoulder up. Now round the back. Bring your toes forward. And do that again. Round and hold it there for a moment. Now pull the elbow away from the hip. Up and around. Other side. Pull it away. Up and around. Now reach up. Put your hand on the bench and rotate. Lift your chest. Check your alignment here. Two and down to two. Now really keep your back leg straight so you feel that stretch right in your hip flexor. Up for two. One more. Really sink into that stretch and feel it. Now slide in. Sink back and hold that stretch. Good. Now lean forward. Press the heel down and lift up. Feeling that stretch. Good. Now lift and press. That's it. Now tap the heel. That's it. Feel that stretch in your back calf as you lean into that. Now face the front. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Good. Now lift the leg. Up and a heel. Up, heel. That's the way. Now just tap the toes. Swing it. Three, two, and march. That's it. Ready for our very first step combo. Level one now. Take a basic. That's it. All the way up. Lead up from your heel. There you go. Now stretch your hand out to the side. Right there. Hold that. Lift the chest. Now pull down. Do it again. Up. Now reach the hands under. Hold. And pull. Right there. That's it. Up. Now under, then over. And pull. Pull your shoulder blades back together there. Let's go. Up. Up. Under. Now a V walk. Right there. And again. Up. Under. V walk. Now keep that V walk. Lateral raise. Four. Three. Two. There you go. Now let's go over the bench. This way. Come to me. That's it. Place your feet right into the center of your step. Keep your chest up. Now push your arms up. Right there. That's it. You've got it. Good. Now take a basic with the other leg. Step all the way up. Place the heel first. Make sure both feet come all the way up on your bench. Now reach your hand up. There. Hold. Pull. Press your hands back. Squeeze your elbows back as well. Lift up. And pull. And press. That's it. We're going to speed that up a bit now. Pull. Press. Good. Here we go. Up. Up. Pull. Now a V walk. Right there. That's it. We're going to do that.
that again. Up, pull. V, press. Now keep that V walk like right. Four. Three. Two. Now we're going to go over the bench. Come to me. That's it. Chest up. Place your feet right to the center of the bench. Keep one eye on it. That's it. Now, reach up. Right there. And again. Okay, now back to the beginning. Reach up. Basic. Under. Over. V walk. Just do that again. Out to the side here. Up. Under. Now V. Now let's go over the step. Push it up. That's it. You got it. Good. Basic. Reach up. Right there. Cool. Oh yeah. V look. Press it back. Do that again. There. Pull. V. You got it now. Let's go over. Right up. Push. Right there. That's it. Basic. Reaching up. We're cutting in half. Under. Over. V walk. Let's go over now. Press it up. And again. You got it. Basic. Reaching up. Right there. Now pull. V walk. Press. Now go over. Good. Chest up. Place should be right to the center of the bench. Basic. Reach side. There. There. Under. V walk. That's it. Go over. Up, up, down. Up, up, and again. Basic, reaching up. Right there. Now pull. We walk. Press it out. Go over. Again. That's it. We've got a quick change coming up here. March on the bench. Four counts. Four, three. Now lunge. Four. Three, two, on the floor for four. Four, three, do that again. Four, three, two, lunge. Four, three, two, on the floor. We're cutting that in half. Let's go. Up, and lunge, and lunge, and down. Do that again. We've got two more of those. Up, press. Just tap the toe, not the heel. That's it. Now, single tap, single tap. You got it. Now let's travel that. Add two clicks. That's it. Now repeat it three times. One, two, three. Three times here. One, two, three. Do that again. Keep that knee soft. Standing leg slightly, just slightly bent. Don't lock the knee. Same thing, but just tap your toe off to the side. Right there. And again, other side. We'll do that again. Step and tap. And again, a slight change coming up. You're going to step off the side and leave your heel on. That's it. Now watch the arms. Here we go. Boom. Hold tight with your abs. Now, if you want, and just bring that foot up a little to a kick and again that's it now come back to a single tap you've got four of these boom boom two more step and kick step and kick single tap Step and kick. That's it. Now basic. Walk on the bench. Four counts. Four, three. Now lunge. Four, three, two, and down. Four, three. Do the same again. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. On the floor. We're cutting that in half. And again. Just tap the toe. Chest up. 
You should be able to carry on a conversation. So let's keep going. So we're going into level two right here. Together. Oh yeah. Right there. Now we're cutting that in half. Right there. And again. Right there. Right there. Two more like that. There's one. One more like that. Now, if you're going to add some intensity, follow us now. 
at a hop and a walk. Choose the appropriate one for you. That's it. Keep your knees soft when you land from that hop. Last one. Now, here. There you go. Chest up. Four more. There you go. You're with me now. I know you are. Get yeah, a little combination here. Push it up. You got it. Hit a knee. Three knees. Go. Two. Three. And again. One. Two. Now a three count repeated. We're going to change the lift. Go knee, abduction, and hamstring. Do that again. Knee. Now you have to hold a little harder with your abs here. That you're not losing your spinal position. One more time. Now take a basic step. Reach up. That's it. Pull your elbow up. Chest up. Now together. That's it. Elbows high. Place your feet right up onto the step. Now alternate. And three. And two. Together. Keep breathing. Now alternate. We're cutting that in half. Together. Right there. And again. Hands up. Elbows high. Let's go. There. There. Right there. And again. Place your feet right up. Now this time, if you want, you've got that hop coming up. Knees up when you land. Up. Up. Walk back down from that.
Jimmy. Jack. Take the basic. That's it. Moving into another combination now. Woo! I like that one. Here we go. Five count repeater. Count it with me now. Five, four, three, two. Now a basic step here. Four more basics. Here's some arms. Pull it and press. Woo! Catching my breath a bit. Five count repeater. One, two, three, four, five. Now a basic. One time. Five count repeater. One, two, three, four, five. Basic. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Basic. We're going to add some arms this time. So it goes chest, up, chest, down, chest. Basic. Do it again. Basic. And again. Chest. Up. Chest. Down. Chest. Basic. That's it. Chest. Up. That's it. This time we're going to add some optional intensity. Really make sure you step down from the run. If you're going to do the run. Run and walk. That's it. Right there. Five. Run or walk. Right there. Four. Five. Run or walk. Last time. Got it. Run or walk. Now take a basic two times. Do here. Woo. Do here. Two here. That's it. One here, one here. You got it. You with me now? Now make that a turn step. Low swing. Just swing the arm out. Relax it down. Now reach it out to the side like a knife. Cut it. Cut it. That's it. Place your feet on the bench. That's it. Now add a clap. Right there. You got it. Four more. That's it. Now turn to a lunge. That's it. And down. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and down again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This time we're going to add some arms. If you haven't got those legs yet, don't add the arms. That'll really trick you up. This one's quite challenging. There it is. Good. Do that again. This time we're adding some optional intensity. On the second lunge, you add a hop. Second lunge, you hop and step down. That's it. You got it. Now turn step. Turn. That's it. Now turn and lunge. Turn and lunge again. Back to the turn step. Here we go. This one's intense. Hang in there. You got it. Now turn and lunge. Turn and lunge. One, two. Four, five. Now back to the turn. We're cutting it in half again. That's it. Turn and lunge now. Turn step. Turn again. Now turn and lunge. Two, three, four, five, six. Turn step. You with me? Yeah. Turn and lunge. Turn step. Turn and lunge. The last time. Now march on the floor. Okay, let's check our heart rate. Use the thumb side of your wrist, holding from underneath, gently pressing all four fingers down. Count the beats from zero, starting now. Okay, now keep your feet moving, just a bit. 
Don't press too hard with your hands. Make sure you're breathing. Stop! Okay, find your age, match it with the number. If you counted more beats than that number, you need to slow down. If you counted less, you need to work harder. Are you in your range? Okay, let's turn our step now for the most advanced portion of the workout. Here we go. So lower your step like the shell to keep your level intermediate. Just make sure it's secure. Now let's go marching. Four, three, two. Now let's go over. Level three now. And again. You got it. Make sure you're placing your feet right up into the center of your step. Let's step it out. That's it. Push it back. Keep long arms and long legs. That's it. Now step up, lunge down. Here we go. Step up and lunge. Tap the toe down. Four, three, two. Now a double. Face the feet. Double again. Double and step down. Then go over eight times. That's it. Push it out. And again. Oh yeah. Place your feet right to the center of your bench. Good. Now step up and lunge down. That's it. Can I on your step? Four, three, two. Now a double. Double again. And again. Double and step down. Then go over four times. We're cutting the whole thing in half. Stay with me now. That's it. Now step up, lunge down. Now the double. That's it. Double step down. Now go over. Push it out. That's it. Now step up, lunge down. Now the double. Double and step down. Now basic two times. Two times front leg. Leg two times. Front leg two times. Step all the way up. Back leg one time. Front leg one time. Upright row with the arm. Right there. That's it. Now turn step. Here we go. That's it. You got it. Good. Three more. Here we go. That's it. Now turn to a straddle. Knee comes up. Press it out. Lift the knee right up. Chest lifted. You got it. Now lift the leg to the side. Press it out. Bend the knee. Press it out. And again. Now a repeater. Three times. One. Two. Now step touch two times. Now face it back leg two times. Front leg two times. Step all the way up. Back leg two times. Front leg two times. Step all the way up. Back leg one time. Front leg one time. Upright row with the arms. Now turn step. Where are we? Right here. Oh yeah. Three more. That's it. One more, now turn to a straddle. Knee up. Right there. And again. Leg goes to the side. Press it up, out to the side with the arms. And again. Repeat a tap. Three times. Two. Step touch two times. Now the turn step. Let's go back to the start step. You got it. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> Three more. Right up. Watch your step. One more. Now turn to the front. Knee up. Right there. Boom. And again. Now leg goes to the side. 
Bring it up. And press. And again. That's it. Now repeat a tap. Front back front. Right there. Jump shot or step touch. That's it. Now turn step. Let's go. Back leg start. Right down. Woo! This jump shot's going to get your heart rate up. Three more turns. That's it. Now turn to a straddle. Come to me. Knee up. Right there. And again. Good. Leg goes to the side. Bend your knees. Press it up. And again. Good. Repeat it. Front, back, front. Right there. Boom. Jump shot or step touch. Hand step now. Three times goes one.
Mission. So we're moving straight into our cardio cool down here. Let's go over. One, two, hold, clap, and march. Here we go. One, two, up. This time we're gonna add a box step. Two now, box step. That's it, here we go. One, two, three. We're adding into it again. Now, do a pivot turn. Walk forward and back. Now go over. Tap. Box step. Pivot. There. There. Forward. Now, give it some arms. Round. Now, push it out. There. There. Shake down. Do it again. Up. Pivot. Let's do that again. That's it. Good. Pivot. One more time. Uh huh. Pivot. Shake it down. Now step up on the bench slowly. Step up. Step back. Bend the knees. Reach the hands forward and hold that, tucking the pelvis. Now pull the hand back. Pull it. Open your chest as you pull that hand back. Really emphasize tucking the pelvis. Step up into a hamstring stretch. Now just hold that, sit back. Flex the foot. Now contract the tailbone under. Press and hold. That's it. Now step up. Let your heel hang down. Lift up. Now bend the knee. Pull the elbow down. Other side. Bend, hold up. Change sides. Sink the heels down and hold. Front elbow pulls. Down. Abs in tight so your back isn't swaying. And pull. And pull. And pull. Come up. Step back into the hamstring stretch. Your chest lifted. Flex the foot. Knee soft. That's it, now contract your tailbone under and press back and hold. You got it, feel that nice stretch? Let's go, now step up, step back, lift up, reach the hands forward, tuck the pelvis, bend the knee and hold. Now pull down, up, pull down and hold, really tucking the pelvis. Bring yourself forward as to the thighs, step down. Roll up, just shake it out, that's it. So we're getting ready for our abs. We're going to adjust our steps now so that you just have two platforms underneath the step for our abdominal and pelvic stabilization work. Great job on the step. Have your butt nice and close to the bench and place your feet up on top of the bench. Laying yourself down, placing your hands behind your head, press your back really flat down and hold your abdominals in really tight. Follow myself or this group over here who are demonstrating an easier version. So you start by lifting up and down, down. Hold your abdominals in really tight and make sure that your pelvis isn't rocking at all. So when the second foot comes off, that's when your abdominals have to really grip to hold. You want to keep your feet very close to the bench. Very close. You're barely lifting. That's it. Now curl the shoulders up. Exhale and lift up and down. Now you come all the way up and all the way down. Exhale, lift and lower. Now keep the chin and neck in a neutral alignment. That is so you're not pushing forward like that. When you lower yourself back down, keep your lower back pressed firmly down. So the whole time you're keeping that tension on the muscle. This is the last one. Okay, now come back to walking the feet. Lifting up, up and down, down. Now remember, you can walk your feet off the bench or you can lift your feet up. Walking the feet is more difficult. But whatever position you're taking, make sure that you're holding with the muscle. 
pull it in tight. Keep your head and shoulders down. Make sure you're breathing. Now curl shoulders up again. Here we go. Exhale and lift. And lower. Now let that movement be really, really smooth. Keep the chin off the chest. Let it be like a pressing movement. So you press. There you go. Breathe. Making sure you're not pulling with the hands. Chin stays off the chest. Really squeeze the muscle, press. One more. And hold that there. Now place the elbow down on the floor, drop the knees to the side, step the top leg over the top, bring the elbow up. Now curl up and down. Now stick your elbow in a little to come up higher if you want. Keep your head and neck neutral, pull the navel in against the spine. It's right here. You're pulling from right there. You're pulling right here. You dig this elbow down to help you to come up again. Last one. Now stay there and hold. Just a little press right there. Now just check your head and neck alignment. Nice and neutral, comfortable. Don't twist the head in either position. Just keep it nice and steady. Whatever works for you, as long as your head's not twisted. And hold. Little press to the center. Coming back with the legs. Four and three and two. Now curl up slowly again. Coming up, two and down. Two, up and down. Hold in really tight. Press. Keep your pelvis neutral in this, so you're not trying to tuck the pelvis like this. Have your feet resting just very lightly on the bench, so you're not pushing into your feet. Keep your butt relaxed. And breathe. Make sure you're not pulling with the head. Last one. Hold that. Drop the elbow down. Knees go to the side. Step the foot over. Now let's go. Here we go. Coming up. Two. And down. Two. Exhale. Now find that position. You really are resting only on one hip. Make sure you're not pulling with this hand. Push down with this hand instead. Squeeze into it. Exhale each time you lift. Last one. Now stay there. Hold that. Hold that little press. Let's go. Abs in tight, head neutral. Make sure you're not pulling. Stop if you need to. And four, three, two. Back to the center, little press. And come back behind the head. Four, three. Now curl up slowly, lift the feet off the bench. Curl and down. Three, and down, two, the next exercise again is for pelvic stabilization, I call it the dead bug, leave your head and shoulders down, now walk one leg down, leaving the other leg up, but the whole point of this exercise is to not let your pelvis rock, so I'm not really worried about how far this leg comes down, if it only comes down to there, that's fine as long as your back's flat, now curl the hips and shoulders, up, and down. Up and down. Two more of these. Make sure you're not pulling on the head. It's a real tough exercise. Hang in there. Okay, let's go back to that dead bug. Take the leg down and up and again. Down. Really work for it, but don't lose the position of the pelvis. So you're not losing, losing your pelvic position. Now cross the ankles again, curling up and down. Again. That's it. Now place your feet back on the bench. Take hold of your legs. Pull your head and shoulders up. Now hold that position and bring your hands behind your head. Hold the abdominals in tight. Little press. Now you're not pulling with your hands. Pull with your abdominals. Hold that there. Take hold of your legs again. This one's really intense. Okay, now come up. Now pull yourself up another 
fraction of an inch. Right there, hands back behind the head. Now stay with me, here we go. Pull into that and press. Head and neck neutral, breathe. Staying up as high as you can. Squeeze the muscle. Woo! This is intense. Four more goes four, three, two. Stay there, hold. Come up a fraction higher. Just a little higher again. Oh, and let it down. Oh, bring your hands down beside you. Take your feet down. And just let your body completely relax into the floor. Just laying there with your palms up. Find a comfortable position and just allow the body to completely relax. Start to become aware of your breath. Observe yourself breathing in and out. Become your breath. Picture a blue sky. White fluffy clouds. They're floating. Imagine yourself lying on one of those clouds. Envelop yourself in the cloud. Feel the sensation on your skin like a satin sheet, a gentle breeze. Place your attention in your feet. Relax each toe. Let the tension go. Feel energy flowing from your feet to your calves. Feel a sense that the muscle is draping. Relax your thighs and abdominal area. Feel your legs sinking into the cloud. Pay special attention to your back. Let your breath be like fingers massaging away your tension. Feel your chest open up and allow your energy to run down your arms and out through your fingertips, clearing away any tension. Now clasp your hands, placing them behind your head, gently lifting. Stretch out the back of your neck. the head back down and relax the shoulders again. And breathe in and let it go. Any time today you're feeling tense, just take a big deep breath in and think about the cloud and find your peace. So, Doctor Exercise recommends this workout prescription three to five times per week. Just start, and before you know it, you'll be three quarters of the way through, sweating, breathing deep, smiling, and feeling a whole lot better. I know, I always do.